Hi guys, Ant Gaines Levine, NutriBio athlete, here today at bodybuilding.com to take you through a chest workout. We're gonna crush upper, middle, and lower chest, and then burn out with my 35 rep trademark burnout. This workout should take you approximately one hour if your rest periods are on time. If not, it could extend a little bit longer. If you're ready, grab your pre-workout and let's get after it. We're gonna start off with machine incline press. We're gonna stay around eight reps. We're gonna hit five sets of this exercise and that'll be the start of our upper chest workout. We're gonna start out with the machine, so we're on a strict range of motion, and we're able to really isolate the upper chest before moving into other various movements. We're really gonna focus on utilizing the end of the range of motion to completely get a full contraction of the upper chest. Next up, we have incline dumbbell press. Again, the rep range is gonna be around six to 10, so eight is a good mark to shoot for. We're gonna go a little bit heavier on this set and really crush that upper chest. For the incline dumbbell press, we're gonna hit two drop sets, totaling in four sets. We're gonna go heavier weight, switch to a lighter weight, give yourself some rest in between, and then go heavier weight, lighter weight again. So we start out warming up with the machine. Now we can ensure full range of motion, a full squeeze, and full contraction by pushing the dumbbells across the body and shortening the pectoral muscle as much as possible. When you hit that eighth rep, you should have nothing left in the tank. You wanna go till complete muscle fatigue on all these sets. Next up, we have Smith Machine Incline Press, three sets of six to 10 reps. I like to keep the machine on a very high incline. This way I can ensure isolation of that upper chest. By utilizing the Smith Machine, you could bring your hands a little bit closer and still push heavier weight and get that full contraction at the top. Next up, incline cable fly for a 35 rep burnout. Basically, we do this 35 rep burnout to target any muscle fibers that weren't crushed earlier on with the heavier weight, increasing blood flow and making sure that the nutrients get driven exactly to where we want them to go. With any 35 rep burnout, you wanna choose a weight that allows you to get those 35 reps, but it should still be challenging. By this point, your upper chest should be completely fatigued, filled with blood flow, but now it's time to move on to the middle chest and lower chest. First up for middle chest, flat bench barbell press. We have five sets of six to 10 reps. The bench press is a great compound movement to strengthen back, chest, shoulders, and even your core. If you notice on this exercise, I don't particularly lock out at the top. Instead, I'm keeping complete tension on the muscle to make sure I can maximize the full potential of the workout. Next up, we have two drop sets of flat bench dumbbell flies. We're gonna stick around that six to eight rep mark once again. During the previous bench press, we focused a lot on contraction. Now we're gonna focus on the stretch and the squeeze. The flies are gonna ensure a full stretch and a full squeeze, maximizing blood flow and getting the nutrients exactly where we want them to go. We're hitting drop sets to completely exhaust the muscle and make sure we tax the middle chest as much as possible. Posing in between sets could maximize blood flow and ensure to keep the muscles and joints warm in the area that you're working on. Next up for middle chest, dumbbell pullovers. Three sets of six to 10 reps. You really wanna find the point that you could shorten the middle chest as much as possible. During this exercise, the stretch is not the importance. What's the importance is the contraction. If you go too far in this movement, you could actually start to utilize and engage the shoulders rather than the middle chest. Last up for middle chest, another 35 rep burnout, and it's gonna be mid chest cable flies. We're gonna do these on our knees to ensure complete muscle isolation. 
pick a weight that's doable but challenging. If at any point you think the weight may be too light, you can start to slow down the reps, ensuring that you completely tax the middle chest. All right, we've smashed the upper and middle chest. Now it's time to move on to decline. We're gonna start out the lower chest with a decline press, superset with decline chest dips. Both exercises, we're gonna hang out around that six to eight rep mark. This particular gym didn't have a decline machine press. What we did was we angled our body in a specific way to make sure we could still hit that lower chest. What you wanna do here is raise the pelvis, arch the back, keep your elbows in, and push. At this point, your lower chest will be fatigued, but we're moving right on to decline dips to ensure complete muscle fatigue. With decline dips, you wanna push your legs backward and make sure you get a full squeeze at the top to really isolate that lower chest. By squeezing at the top, you can make sure that you're shortening the lower chest as much as possible. That will ensure a complete contraction of that lower chest throughout this movement. I recommend keeping the tension on the lower chest and not going too deep to make sure you prevent a rotator cuff injury. Your entire chest should be taxed, but it's time to burn out that lower chest with decline chest flies. Again, for this body part, we're gonna do that trademark 35 rep burnout completed in one set. Throughout this movement, by setting the scapula and keeping your chest up, you can make sure you're putting the tension on the lower chest rather than your shoulders. Once again, toward the end of this set, we wanna make sure we get a full squeeze and full contraction so you completely fatigue and tax that muscle group. Remember guys, this is the last set of the day. This is what separates the men from the boys. Get it done. So you've completed my workout. We started with the upper chest, we went to the middle chest, and then finished off with the lower chest. You should put this chest workout into your split at least once a week. Complete this over a period of four weeks or more, and I will ensure you'll make muscle gains. The full breakdown of this workout is detailed for you below here at bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions for me about this workout, you can find me on Instagram at AntGains. For more free videos and articles from athletes like me, come back to bodybuilding.com. Click subscribe.